to the JLR Guru channel. Today I'm going to have another look at the 2021 model year Jaguar F-Pace and the reason for that is the very first video I actually put on the channel was of the 21 model year F-Pace. Uh, it wasn't my best work, in fact let's not be honest it was rubbish, uh, but it was a very popular video so I thought I'd do one of this car and this is the R-Dynamic S which is the most popular model that we're getting asked for at the moment. So let's have a look around it. So as I said in the intro, this is the R-Dynamic S model. The engine in this car is the D200 MHEV latest 2021 engine for the F-Pace. That's also accompanied by the 165 horsepower D165 engine. And you can also have an Ingenium inline six cylinder, which is the D300. And if you're going down petrol route, uh, petrol route you can opt for a P300 a P400 or a hybrid P400E. As we know from the previous video, 21 model year facelift includes double J blade headlights with LED headlights there as well. Slightly redesigned front bumper. This particular car has the exterior black pack as well, which gives you black surroundings in the front grille around the two outer vents in the bumper. And you'll also notice it's got a little camera at the front and that's because it comes as standard with the 3D surround camera on the new Pivi Pro infotainment system. Check the other video out on the channel if you haven't already. Our Dynamic S now comes with these 19 inch gloss black alloy wheels as standard. And if you're anything like me, you'll think black, uh, gloss black alloy wheels, they absolutely need the exterior black pack and you're right. I think if you, uh, if you opt for this car without a black pack, it might look odd or you might want to change the wheels. I've also got the slightly redesigned side vents for 21 model year. Again, that's in gloss black on this particular car. The color, in case you're wondering, is blue fire metallic, which is a new color for 21 model year F-Pace. It was first introduced in 2015 when the original XE came out. And it's now found its way, not into the, uh, not just into the F-Pace, sorry, but also into the E-Pace and the F-Type and you can also order now an XF or an XE in the same colour. Right, let's have a look at the boot space. So this car is fitted with the optional powered tailgate which is a powered gesture tailgate. I'm not going to demonstrate that now because I look a bit strange in the showroom doing that but what that means is it doesn't uh, just open electronically from say the key or the button on the back of the car but you can also kick under the corner of the bumper and it'll sense as long as you've got the key it'll sense you there and it'll actually open the boot for you as well boot space is unchanged uh, on the 2021 model year um, you do also get a 40 20 40 split fold rear seat configuration you've got side nettings there you've also got plenty of hooks really good led lighting in the boot 12 volt power outlet and hooks there as well. I do apologize if you're watching in America, we call it a boot in England, you call it the trunk. Right, let's have a look around the driver's side. So in addition to the exterior black pack, this car also has the optional privacy glass, which gives you uh, blacked out glass from the B pillar towards the back of the car. It also has the sliding panoramic roof. And as I mentioned, the uh, power tailgate is also an option as well. Alloy wheels are a really nice design. Again, you can upgrade those if the uh, 19s are a bit too small for you. There we go, it's a fantastic looking car. You do also get the LED indicators. You can change those to uh, animated ones as well if you want to do that. Same for the rears as well. All right, let's have a look at the interior. 
So on this particular car, we've got the full ebony leather with the contrast oyster stitching. And I know what you're going to say. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll be saying things like, oh, we always see black interior on your videos. Well, unfortunately, I don't uh, order the cars for the showroom. As much as I'd love to have something different to show you. But rear leg room is unchanged uh, between this one and the 2020 model. The main differences are on the door card. As you can see, we've got a completely redesigned door card here with the new style speakers there. Door handles, and you've also got new switch gear which has come across from the Land Rover side. Plenty of uh, storage in the door pockets. You do also get the ISOFIX points on the two outer seats in the rear. Three headrests, central armrest, and of course electric windows and heat vents in the rear as well. There's also a power socket just down there. There we go, let's have a look in the front. Right, so I'll do the door cards first this time. So we've got, again, new switch gear from Land Rover's side. That's uh, something you'll see if you are a Range Rover owner or a Range Rover Sport. Again, redesigned door panels, silver speaker grills. And now as standard, you do get electronic seats without having to uh, pay for them. So they come standard even on the base model. So you've got uh, electronic seats in the front with lumbar support. The seats have had a slight redesign, not in the structure, just in the way they're trimmed. So you now get the sort of uh, triple stitching in the middle there, and you also get the Jaguar Leaper on the headrests, which just finishes it off nicely. You've got the new style steering wheel for 21 model year, as well as the 11.4 inch Pivi Pro system. New gear selector. And um, this being the S doesn't get the standard digital driver's dash. It is an option. So there we go. Let's uh, jump in and have a look. Right, so sat in the driver's seat. The first thing I'll show you is the driver's display. Now, as I mentioned, this is the S model, so you don't get the full digital screen. What you do get is the part digital screen in the center which sort of cuts into the uh, the dials there. Now, if you're familiar with one of these screens from, say, something like a, an XE, you'll know that on pre-20 model years, you weren't able to get the map to show on the, the part LCD screens, but now with the Pivi Pro, you can do that. So you don't have to go to one of the more expensive models or opt for the full digital dash just to get the map in front of the driver. You can still get that on the, uh, the part LCD screen ones. Um, as I mentioned, you've also got Pivi Pro system, which is the new infotainment system for Jaguar Land Rover. And that features, as standard, the 3D surround camera, which if you know me, you'll know I really like. And again, uh, check out the Pivi Pro introduction film on my channel, where I talk you through everything there is to know about these. You also get the Bluetooth connectivity for your mobile phone. Uh, people often ask me, how many phones can you uh, pair up to that? Well, it's an infinite amount, but remember, you can only connect to one at a time. So there's a difference between pairing and connecting. Um, so you can only connect to, to one at a time. Uh, you've also got the media there as well. So you've got your radio stations, digital DAB radio. You can save your favourites in here as well. We don't get a very good signal because we're inside the showroom at the moment. And then clicking this little four square here brings up all your apps. So as you can see, you can go into your seats, your climate control. You can engage the valet mode. Uh, change your voice recognition, change your phone settings, all that uh, all through there. And then you can change the settings for the Pivi Pro system itself. Screen off, auto theme, home layout. If you're anything like me, the first thing you'll do when you get one of these cars is turn the auto brake hold off. Now, that might be because we move cars around in the showroom and it's often in very tight areas. But uh, for me, it's just it's just too intrusive. It doesn't release quick enough and it's always trying to cut in. So try it out for yourself if, you, if you're looking at uh, buying one of these when you can. Um, but see what you think. But there is an override uh, for it anyway. Uh, 21 Model Year now gets these new uh, really nicely finished uh, dials here. They're a multifunction dial. So if I just do this, you can see we've got synchronized climate control. We can just unsynchronize it there. If it does it, I think I might have to... There we go, yeah, so we'll just do that one. So, as you can see, it individualises it. You can have different temperatures. And what you can also do is pull the dial outwards, and that changes your fan speed. And then, we'll put the fan back on, actually. And then if you push it inwards, that'll change it. If the engine was running, I'd also be able to do the uh, the seats, but I can't have the engine running in the showroom. Uh, what else? Oh, you also get a heated screen as standard now as well, whereas before... 
even on the um, R Sport of the F Pace, you had to opt for that as part of, I think it was called Winter Pack. Um, and you got heated seats, heated windscreen, and a heated steering wheel. Um, so, yeah, you get that standard now. You've got the new uh, baseball style gear selector here. Volume control is now nicely within reach of the driver's hands. You'd have to reach across trying to find the dial. Start stop button has moved slightly. It used to be on the old model, be back here, just there now, and it's sort of indented into there so you don't accidentally catch it as well drive mode selector so you just pop that up and you can actually change between your dynamic uh, ice and rain comfort and um i won't see the one i've forgotten it now yeah dynamic comfort ice and rain and normal sorry uh so you've got that there and you've also got your slider here as well as you can see you get two keys on f pace now you do get the newer style jaguar keys that have come across from land rover so you get a nice little jaguar emblem on there as well do the same thing as the old one just lay it out slightly better and also if you're looking to get your key blade out if your battery's dead for example you just push this little button on the side and slide it out whereas you don't have to take the uh, the whole side of the key off as you did on the uh, on the old ones if you're interested in that sort of thing there you go and then underneath the center armrest you do get a power source so you got the covered one there usb and also one of the lightning usb ones as well and then I mentioned earlier about the uh, panoramic sliding sunroof. You can opt for either a solid glass sunroof or this one where you can see this center section here will raise and go back over the, um, over the rear one. And it'll only slide so far because of course it can't go too far back so you've got your aerial and things at the, at the back there as well. Um, but when that does open, it brings a little sort of bug catcher which is about here um, just to... Uh, catch bugs and stop debris coming in the car and it also aids in deflecting the wind away from the cabin as well so there we go we've also got the heated steering wheel button on this one here as well it's a nice option to have so there we go so that is my second attempt at showing you around a 2021 model year jaguar f-pace which we have in the showroom. Again, this is the R Dynamic S D200 MHEV model. Well, thank you very much for watching the second video on the 21 model year F Pace. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If it's been of some use to you, please drop me a comment below. And if you haven't already, do please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be made aware of the next time I upload a video straight away. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for your loyalty. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.